needle EMG examination. So, uh, for that, we will, because it's two channel EMG machine, we will uh, set in the first channel uh, for needle EMG adapter. We inserted uh, this adapter in the first channel. We can leave the ground electrode in the same place. After that, we must put on gloves. So we put on gloves because it's an invasive procedure. Alexei, we need to change position of the camera. Uh, we will use for needle EMG examination today. It's a uh, deltoid muscle. For needle EMG, we certainly use only disposable electrodes. So we swab up uh, skin with alcohol or another antiseptic. We use, uh, we take the needle, for example, this. We will use concentric needle, but in some medical society, it's preferred monopolar needle, but it's also, po uh, it's possible to develop the examination with both of them. So we can, we will use this 30, uh, 37 millimeters needle for the deltoid muscle. Uh, we will use uh, and estimate the mi uh, middle part of the deltoid muscle. So for that, I will share the screen. So for, for that, we will choose quantitative EMG. So deltoid muscle, we can choose right side. First of all, we can, we, we see the uh, main window with all tables of parameters. First of all, it's better to start with spontaneous EMG. We, uh, now we can insert the needle. We start monitoring. Uh, so uh, at, at first we analyze several positions. First, uh, it's spontaneous activity and insertion activity. So insertion activity, insertional activity, we register, we estimate when we move the needle in the muscle. You can see it, it must be not very long because it might be pathological. But you, you see insertion activity when I move the tip of the needle in the muscle. Uh, 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 then we estimate the spontaneous activity and uh, healthy muscle, it, usually it's absent. So we don't see any uh, activity. We can stand uh, registration of that. We can a little pedia, relax a little bit more. So we 
continue lo looking for the act spontaneous activity in, in this position of the needle. We don't have any spontaneous activity, we set OK. But, but as uh, it, it looks like it almost uh, sometimes like this, is it must be uh, fibrillations, fasciculations when they're big. Uh, it and all of them connects with different uh, neuromuscular uh, diseases and problems. So after that, uh, we don't have any spontaneous activity. We go to the uh, motor unit potentials. So uh, we will use automatically uh, seeking of the potentials. Please uh, tension a little, a little, uh, li a little less. You can see uh, several uh, motor unit potentials from that point. Usually from one position of needle, we can get two, three of the motor unit potentials. Okay, relax please. So we start, okay, we get uh, here, they look alike really. So we get three uh, motor unit potentials. Then we need to change the position of the needle a little bit. Uh, uh, a concentric needle registrate about, uh, uh, normal one millimeter. So usually we need to use five millimeter distance. Uh, we, li uh, we leave the needle in the muscle, but change direction a little bit. After that, we will again ask uh, relax completely. It's better. We again can estimate the place and relax. Yes, at last uh, he, he relaxed absolutely. We again don't see any spontaneous activity. So, and for circulations will be look like that. After that, we again can you uh, find with a little tension. New. Uh, so you, we can do, we don't use this uh, because programs exclude them, so we can use okay, for example, the same, okay. And also uh, at the same point, uh, we can develop third methods. It will be uh, interference pattern. So please tend maximally as you can. So you can see, we uh, uh, we analyze interference pattern with maximal contraction of the muscle, uh, and we estimate tone frequency. Usually, it must be in the special frame. It, uh, it's uh, uh, connected with normal values, so we can see it's absolutely normal. And after that, we can change, for example, and now really we need to get up to 20 uh, uh, up to 20 motor unit potential. So we, the last change, the last position. Again, estimate the spontaneous activity. Please relax it. If 
can see a little motor unit potentials, but it's not spontaneous activity. Okay. And the last time we will gather motor unit potentials. Okay. Uh, so uh, we get uh, now this time seven, we, we should continue from that point and it's better to use in one insertion at least five points and it's better to use two, two insertion for one muscle. So, and the same way continue several times for, for example, when we uh, develop, when we can perform several muscles examination at least two muscles usually also sometimes uh, it's possible to uh, perform quick mg because in some uh, situations for example acute trauma or something that we need we should not get all 20 uh, all 20 motor unit potentials and we perform quick mg with different muscles with short time so, also, uh, we can see, we, we can check native, uh, our native curves. And if we, we can find additional, uh, some, sometimes, especially when we have new, big neuro, motor neuronal diseases so because uh, they are very unstable so we can find additional motor unit potentials but now all parameters especially mostly amplitude and uh, and durations are absolutely normal it's okay so we can see and choose here no generation activities normal motor unit potential amplitude motor uh, unit potential duration. Uh, we don't have any significant polyphases, so it's okay, less than 15 persons. And you can also check uh, individual parameters of the motor unit potentials. And you can, it's right and find, for example, what uh, why it's so small, we can check and yes, we agree. It's a small potential with short duration. And uh, also, also, okay, so we can, I think we can finish the needle examination.